Hi, I'm Tara Hitchcock for Black Tree TV, and I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure how big archery is in the urban culture of America, but we've been seeing a lot of archery lately in films, from Hunger Games to Avengers, and now in Disney Pixar's new movie, Brave. Jim, how hard is this? Well, it's, it's, it's pretty easy, really. You promise? Yes, of course. How's my form? Okay, not too bad. Uh-oh, that's not good. What do I need to do? No, it's not too bad for me, either. I feel like I need a neck massage. Okay, blue. Blue is right. good. So that was pretty well shot. So I came off at about okay. 10 o'clock on the blue. 10 o'clock on the blue. Okay. Jim. Very good. Okay. Excellent. The moral of this brave junket is just relax. No matter what you're doing, whether it's archery, <laughs> taking your kids to school, learning basketball, just relax. Thank you. Okay. I am Merida, firstborn descendant of Clan Dumbrock, and I'll be shooting for my own hand. <gasps> what are you doing? Merida, curse this dress! How much of you uh, do you see in Merida? Um, not very much. She obviously sounds quite a lot like me or my mm -hmm. teenage self. Um, but funnily enough, the uh, you know when I when you do the recording sessions, and um, there's a camera pointed at you the whole time, and and it's for the animators to work with um, your face. Mm -hmm. You know, they it really helps them a lot to see how I you know. Um, how I say words, how my mouth moves, and um, and so there was certain moments when I watched the movie, I kind of I could see my frown. Okay. I'm a big frowner, apparently. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, there was certain there was certain facial facial thing. Oh, obviously she doesn't. I you know she's blue eyed, red hair, mm -hmm. red haired, and right. I'm not. Um, but yeah, there was little twitches here and there. You said she reminds you of your teenage self. Were you that wild and independent? No, and not at all. I um, I I was I was pretty indoorsy and uh, and but you know I was obnoxious as any teenage girl. You know I was I was. I was like her in that sense. Right. You know, it was interesting talking to uh, Mark and Catherine about animating the hair, how difficult it was. Yeah. When you saw her first kind of whip it out, were you thinking, ah? Oh. I know, so lovely. I mean, I've got, a, I've got a good head of hair, but nothing mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched Train Spotting again, portraying a very different side of Scotland than the one that you will see mm -hmm. in this film. I mean, this country is beautiful. What part did you grow up in? I grew up in Glasgow. Mm -hmm. So do you think it accurately portrays when you watched it and sat back and saw the finished product? Did you think, oh, this is going to sell our country? I think so. We're talking about Brave now, not Train Spotting. Yes, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, the, the animators and uh, the producers and everybody did a lot of research in Scotland. They came over a few times and spent a long time uh, traveling around um, lots of different places. And so everything that you see is very authentic, actually. It's just... Um, it's just more, you know. They, they got, it was, it's like all the best bits. Scotland on steroids. Exactly. Is that safe to say? Yeah. I absolutely love the Merida character. You know, most women, I think, tend to get portrayed as waiting for a guy to kind of complete their world. And yeah. here she is saying, I am so fine with the way things are. Please don't waste my time. Yeah. Did, what did you like about her? Oh, I love that about her. She's just, she doesn't sing about trying to find her prince. Um, that's not 
on her radar at all yet. She's completely, she's so happy. That's the the heartbreaking thing, you know. She's she's had such a lovely upbringing and having such a lovely time that she doesn't want it to change. So, and it is sort of a coming of age in the end. I got choked up at the end. I know lots of people. Have. I know I was. So, it kind of came over me, and I thought maybe I need to call my mom. Oh. work through some things. I didn't know if it was that. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I thought it was really touching. There were some yeah. really touching parts to that. All right, she's got a bow and an arrow. Those are kind of her must-haves. Mm -hmm. What are your must-haves? My must-haves? Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty low maintenance, really. I don't carry weapons. I think that's, <laughs> that's very, good. very dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I mean, I'm definitely <laughs> more of a nail file person than Merida. I've possibly <laughs> always got a nail file at hand. <laughs> An iPod, a Kindle, anything like that? Not really. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've kind of. So I, your answer is a nail file. A nail file is that <laughs> horrible? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Not necessarily, not necessarily horrible. So yesterday they had us over at the Preston Field House, and we were doing the archery and the clan fighting. Mm -hmm. um, have you tried it? Did they have you do any of that? Not yet. I think I'll be trying some archery today at some point. But yeah, they did. It wasn't a requirement, a job requirement. I didn't um, didn't have to do anything too physical. You were probably too busy filing your nails. Anyway. <laughs> I know. I wish I hadn't said that. No, <laughs> no I'm, just, I'm just teasing. When you found out you were going to be in a Pixar film, excited? Had you always been a Pixar fan? Oh, of course. I mean, and I've got a four-year-old boy, and so we've got all the Pixar movies, and we've watched them a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and so... Yeah, I'm very, very familiar with Pixar, much more so than probably if I hadn't had a child. Right. And so, yeah, we're, we're all, as a family, very excited about the film. How will he do with some of the, the characters, the animal characters, the your four-year-old? Will he be a little bit nervous? Well, he knows the story. He, um, he knows all about Merida and what happens to her. And, and, and I think, yeah, there's always an element in any kids' kids movie. And this isn't really, I mean, it's not just for kids, right. but, you know, it stands, it's made for them, first and foremost. Um, and I think there's always an element of, um, there's a dark element in every children's film. You, you think about um, like Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and the Child Catcher. That's mm -hmm. terrifying. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so, but I think... You know, when you're a kid, you kind of like that stuff as well. But I'll definitely be sitting next to him yeah. when he watches it. Maybe not have someone show up in a bear suit the next day. I'll try not to. <laughs> I'll try not to. Hey, it's a pleasure. You did such a great job. I loved it.